Do you think Crocs are the superior form of footwear? Do you ever wish you could eat your Crocs? Well, this is the tutorial for you. After gathering materials, I ran a quick test run on my pair of Crocs. Crocs are made of a proprietary material called Croclite, and I wasn't sure if it would react with the silicone. Fortunately, my tests were successful. Do you want a souvenir? Then I ran my plan past Josh to get some more ideas. Chocolate. Yeah. After talking to Josh, I decided that the best way to approach this would be to have a splittable outer mold and removable inner mold. To make the inner mold, I covered a crock with sulfur-free clay, greased it with some mold release, and then proceeded to mix and degas our expired silicone. For this portion, I decided to use Smooth Sill 950 because it's food safe and is what we had on hand at the time. The initial results were promising, but there was one problem. How are you gonna get it out? I don't know. Nonetheless, we got to work on removing the clay. Big ones are. Ooh. I'm trying not to cut myself. Trying not to cut the shoe. Oh, Most important. Yes. We got to work cleaning up the mold until we got kicked out of the PDL. Okay, so we've got our shoe here. I think it's stuck. What do you want? It's like Cinderella slipper. Yeah. <laughs> the goal. It's because the croc is in attack mode. You gotta flip it back into defense mode. <laughs> it doesn't go. <laughs> you gotta it. Okay, so we're gonna have to make it stop. Yeah. Okay, try it. Okay, don't break the strap. Okay, it's stuck again. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, one more time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, look at this. The crack is intact. <laughs> That's so weird. It looks like Shrek. This is perfect. You can make an insole. Yeah. That's no. incredibly satisfying. Now we know what the inside of a crack looks like. <laughs> Now that one of the great mysteries of the universe had been cleared up, it was time to get to work on the outer mold. First, I laser cut a box out of acrylic using the laser cutter. Then I assembled the box using lots of packing tape. It was around this point that I realized I didn't have enough silicone, so I checked out a blue bike and went on an adventure. I found the headquarters for WGBH and a really cool looking abandoned diner. Eventually, I made it all the way to Reynolds Advanced Materials, where I was able to secure my silicone, then get back on my blue bike and bike home. I started by applying a healthy coat of mold release and mixing up some silicone. I first set a base layer that the crock would sit on top of, so, you know, the mold would have a bottom. Then I went ahead and mixed the bulk of the silicone. This took two packs of Smooth Sill 940, and the entire process took about 48 hours in total. Despite all that, near the end, I realized I was running out of silicone. So I kind of went in at the last minute and put some wood blocks in to take up volume. So the important parts of the crock would be covered. This part of the mold was a lot easier to work with, and I pretty easily split it open, removed the crock, and headed home to my stove. Here, I used an improvised double boiler to melt my chocolate chips. It took three packs of generic brand milk chocolate chocolate chips in total, but they melted pretty nicely. I used a chopstick to ensure that all parts of the mold were filled, then let it set overnight. 
and took it back to MIT the next morning. After that, it was time to remove the chocolate. Oh, I have enough. I had to work slowly, but the outer mold came off without any major incidents. It was a huge relief when the chocolate finally came free. Josh, you want to have you order dessert? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing! Oh, it's so heavy! It's he no, in theory, there's an insert you can take out and it will be hollow, oh, but... Oh, you feel that? Wait, but that is chocolate! Oh. Yeah, it is chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Very cool. It has retained a lot of detail. Like, look at this. It has the... where the hole should go. Yeah. Oh my god. So there's a, uh, the in, inner crock is in there somewhere. Wait, it's so good. So that big silicone piece. Yeah. Still in there. That's it's wild. really well. This is, this is better than I thought was going to happen. I was a little disappointed Josh had doubted my abilities, but I figured it was pretty good overall. I took an X-Acto knife to the mold to remove the inner piece, but it kind of caused the chocolate to crumble. This makes sense because I use chocolate chips that you would usually use for baking, and that has extra oil, so they keep their shape in the oven. I'm gonna run this again using dedicated baking or melting chocolate and see if maybe we can get a better result. Still, I'm pretty happy.